Gilbert, that we shall not add it, it brought you after we shall get a cut to Lom, I hear that we shall hear me. I can say, you're hollish. I shall let you ask for the Dolan's Gaelic question there. I have a social name, Nish, a Citere, Citere Vit, Dakarti, I guess, a Sabarti, Barti Commonor, I guess, a Debris was a Barti, I guess, we shall not kill all Trotsky out. Ni trasgi hyd yn dilyn sy'n fwy o'n ffecer o'n, ac yn eich bai arwyn eich yn sgag o'r dyr hwn, mae'r ni roi siet yn sostel eich trwy'r stamol iachad neud yn ddigyn tu. Ac yn eich chi, hwn i'n siawal yn gyhyd. Ac yn fwy o'n ddau'n clywed, ac yn hwnnw ar y llawer yma, Arden Menol, ac yn Cliff Men of the West, yn cyn eich chi'n fwy o'r yn, ac yn fwy o'r yn, ac yn fwy o'r yn. Ac yn fwy o'r yn, ac yn fwy o'r yn, ac yn Agus nid yw was y se, fi pisa ac y pwy noted arn writer dies. Left the Arden Islands at a young age, went to America, where he had a varied career. Full stop. Full stop. Fuckle. Nid yw'r fwy. Fwy chyn ta wach dwch yn gysyn fi se America agos rydw lwg. Now, yn eich chi, ta mwyd gwrer i chi eilid, yw'r mwyd yn eisio i chlyw agos y chol mae'r bychaft agos... Mae'r dwrth mae'n aeth ac yn mwyn sy'n mynd am sy'n eich fi lawer i tam na tawam yr liam. Mae'r gwladiad yma'n dyn teir agos. Er eich chi, nes, hwn i'n llawale, fel bocht, fi eisiau gydom yn eich. 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 Fi eisiau gydom Agos fi'ch drama iach cymbogos fi'ch eni o'n, agos fi'ch crynu iach cymbogos fi'ch eni o'n. Agos yn eich fi'ch i'n symale, agos eich yn tecyn i wale, cwyf yn ddechrau eich cair eich o cwyd, mae'n eich bwysau bod. Fwyd eich eich sian ffordd cael cwnnw i'n gwymno fyd. Nid eich eich cair eich o cwyd. Agos fi'ch eich ffordd wash. Gwt yma, agos taliag yn eich Martin Jamesy, fi mohyd Martin Jamesy y tors eirig o yn ennoch le eni. Agos fi ddeg yn y cyn tawn gyrwyrt tam bocht eich am ywain. Ta ni ys mw ŵwli ymprym na gyron. Fi ennym y cyn tawn gyron cael ywls y gantar y gort y gapel. Fi eintach y tarn cael capel ym mwrdera. Agos dwi'n tawn ys mw ŵwli ymprym. Fi eisiau ffylint. Cael ywe. Agos sgrif enni. Ta ni letsyr am y nartig i ni rhwg mellom yn ywi. Sgrif si letsyr y nŵm gyda'n y cord yn y cord y hall, y cwrsys eir fel bocht, agos fi eisiau geid... Ta enim y gyrion eig brain yn siarad. O wel! Wel se! Gyrion antyn y worti. Bedi gyda bae. Bedi gyda bae. Y bydd e. Ac yn eich chi, eich ne. Dwi'r dwi'r eich chi. Ac eich gyfri sy'n letrin nhw'n agos chwrsys eich eir yn y lohen teitern o'ch agos chylwyd. Fi yn fel bocht y geir i siafod o'ch sy'n letrin nhw'n dasad. Ni siafod o'ch ach tiach garg yn was ys dohi. Agos... Fi eisiau chiap o grosiau hol o gwn i, agos grosiau crynu chi'n gynffarti mae'r dyrsiau hyn. Agos di eisiau cwrdd cestiwn i. Er eich chi, ti eisiau trwy feloch gwylioor i gyd yn marwyn sy'n gwn i'n dderig chylwch yna. Agos ach sy'n e e, nes. Ar oed, ni ddoch mae'n eisfwyd yn eich leis. Mae'r... Ni tan law, ar oed, ach ni oed ti'n efe gyn y speech bwrdd ffad y ffwy. Fi mae chiap o grosiau hyn o'n eich hachwyd i'n rhywlyg. Naw, dwrs, dwrs mwyd ar oed, mae'r byn mwyd i Harin tu digin tu, kerana tuh punya nyerau segitu ni kara awa. Oleh sebab itu kami, it has just been discovered macam mana? Oleh sebab itu, now ni cecian fira masa mak marta sakit. Wei segi winter kara kara awa. Nyerau segitu ni antivo mak nyerau samsa. Nyerau sam kerja koran cakap hasil je fui. Agus hakram itu, hakt dan cah. Agus, we make like we make we we ta 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 fenola agus terce. Ie hei siad pysa as a hyhyr, agos bain ceol leis, agos yn chyn casa tas yn nifil o'n pysa gor o'n rhwyn, o'r o'n eich sian os, da'r ymer reidio ni y casa yn chatin o'n maol, ceach mae gyda'n eich eich gobrio leis, agos beidio gobrio chasa chi, ni mae cynta. Ach yn eich chi, beidio, eich chi eich chi. 
Alright, fair one, let's have a faculty or not. We should get them. Go gas fi on red flag in show. On tour on the red flag. Mar is her son sees the heron. I guess her son on tour she looks. I guess home looks. I ha tam a heel. I guess he'll make a gas fi on red flag in show. I guess we fair le hart ule an vesse ge darin le hart in show. Jimmy Kelly. Do you hear Luke Kelly? I guess do che lom hamalo hen kuti ko. Agus tain hwa hig ag ag chas agus bi sha an sasta. Ach e an fairbot chos e stair la hig triple bypass. An lo fi yere agus ni 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 feidil ni ve agin. Ach tu chelin e tuilis ke chur e ke chur e lin agus mar shin de agus. Ta sulam ga me she ani hid ol elle me rud e kintel mar. Ta 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 teip chos ti agam gun red flag agus start off she da chri. An chui gasin she. Nis arai chine ma rohin. Fin du allah. Michael Yor, way there. Pisa as a yeah, a piece of a tool. Going away. Going away. A soft, calm, beautiful night in May. I was outside the house, leaning on the double wall of the little garden which my father and I had fashioned out of the limestone rocks that once formed the yard of our home. A nice little garden it was. We had blasted the rocks and filled the deep clefts with the fragments. Then we had gone around the crag with baskets and spades and shovels and gathered clay and carried it on our backs to the place we had levelled out. We were careful to build a wall around the cleared space for fear the storms would blow away the loam we put on it. <coughs> Seaweed and sand we brought from the shore of Kilmurvey and we scraped the dirt off the low places in the roads where the water had washed it. And in time, we had a pretty garden. Now there was cabbage in it and potatoes and other vegetables. Time was when the landlord would raise the rent on a man for improving his land, I said to my sister Nora, who was leaning over the wall beside me. She didn't reply. I looked at her and found she was weeping softly. I wanted to tell her to stop, but the words halted in my throat. I was leaving on the morrow for America. Sounds of revelry came from the kitchen. Martin Dick's melodion was given out the road to the wedding, Miss McLeod's reel and the Connachtman's rambles. We could hear the clatter of hobnail boots on the earthen floor and the shuffling of pamputis. Shouts of encouragement came from the onlookers and cries of challenge from the dancers who looked upon this form of amusement as a test of staying power. The sad murmur of the calm sea at Perthville Dune fell on my ears. This sound had been with me from my childhood and was part of my subconscious being. Everything around me was part of me and I was part of my surroundings. I came out of the rocks and the small patches of soil and out of the sea that surrounded the islands almost as much as I came out of my parents. <coughs> but this little garden here came out of me. And I felt that it was nearer to me than any other part of the island. I told Nora to go into the house and enjoy herself, as I wanted to be alone for a little while. When she was gone, I made my way over to Perthville Dune to have one last lonely look at those scenes of my childhood. I lay down on a flat stone which was raised above the others and looked out over the little wave on the limitless waters that touched strange lands. 
I put my elbows on the flag, my hands against my cheeks, and put my fingers in my ears. I often did that when near the sea. I heard strange noises, as of multitudes speaking in hushed voices. It was the voice of the many-tongued sea, moaning plaintively in my ears. Come on, let's go. <coughs> I walked down to the water's edge and along the beach to the scalp war. I picked up a piece of driftwood. What ship did it form part of? Where was this ship wrecked? Well, this little bit of wood was about to end its career as tinder. It would find its way to the hearth of some house in Gurtnagopal and burn into ashes. It would be thrown out on the dung heap and in the spring would be spread on a garden as fertiliser. It would be sucked up by a potato so stalk and its sap would go into a potato and this little piece of timber would not be lost and would never die but would go on and on until the end of time, mm -hmm. if there was any end of time. I shrugged my shoulders and turned towards home. When I appeared at the farewell party later, the people asked me where I was, but I didn't enlighten them. Taking a last look around, I said carelessly. Somebody said that my father and I should dance a hornpipe together. Give us the flowers of Edinburgh, Martin. My father said to Martin Dick, this was what my father called a double reel, and he liked it for hornpipes. We danced the first step together. Then we danced every second one until we danced 24 separate steps. There wasn't a word spoken while we were on the floor. I don't think either one of us ever danced better. When we finished, there wasn't a dry eye in the house. My father walked outside. There was a faint streak of dawn coming from behind the cliff of the little fort to the northeast. A little later when I walked out, I saw him leaning against the wall, looking towards the east. I did not intrude on his moment of abandoned grief. Songs were sung, there was more dancing. Poitin was drunk, and those who would drink no liquor drank tea. Young boys and girls flirted in the shadows. For my father and mother and me, and my sisters, it was a night of sorrow. My mood was more attuned to the lonesome murmur of the sea than to the lifting lilt of the melodion. My father sang a song, a fighting song, in his harsh voice. Like many of the fighting songs of the Irish, it was a sad song. Tis you that has the heart. My father said. <coughs> Songs are sung with joy, and songs are sung in sorrow. My mother must sing, the people insisted. They ought to know how hard it would be on her, but they insisted. She complied at last. Her voice was sweet and plaintive. Ah, once this hour was dear to me, but now it has had come, and I deplore, for I'll see my love no more. Morning followed dawn. Most of the merrymakers left for their homes. I laid down to have a few winks of sleep. I would be leaving on the Douras in the afternoon. My mother bid me her last private farewell in the room where she often smoothed my hair and dried my tears. My heart seemed to swell until only torrents of tears could relieve the strain on my chest. Don't forget God, Thomas, she said. The women of the village were in and they were all crying. Crying for my mother they were. It would be their turn sometime soon. The whistles of the Douras blew three times. I had said goodbye to my mother, my sisters and all those nearest to me many times. My father was standing apart with his two hands in his vest pocket. How well he could cover up his grief. I stepped aboard the Douras. My father followed. 
he beckoned me to come behind the cabin where we could not be seen. Then he threw his arms around me and his tears fell on my face. It was the first time I ever knew him to weep or make any show of affection. If you ever want to come back, son, the place is yours, he said. Then he walked off the boat and up the pier. As the boat pulled out, I could see him walking steadily along the road that skirted the bay. He never looked back. My mother stayed on the edge of the pier until she was only a blur in the distance. Don't crack you, Miss Newell. 
Troiki machung noz, ach mosem bose yol makte dun, ke ano garu le goyano, ach gal guflash te dun, erin stage one.